it is very important uh, to uh, uh, stress uh, that Japanese FDI into India uh, in year 2000, fiscal year 2008 was around 8 billion dollars or 800,000, 800 uh, billion yen. That was more than the Japanese FDI into China. In other words, in fiscal year 2008, Japanese companies invested more amounts into India than into China. Probably you may be surprised to hear that. And after that, year 2008 and year 2010, Japanese FDI into India is still maintaining its monument, uh, moment, and Japan, for Japan, India, uh, China, and ASEAN as a whole, these three countries or economies as a whole, in the case of ASEAN, are roughly same amounts, ranging between uh, eight, uh, five to eight billion dollars, the three largest investment destination for Japanese companies. The Japan India EPA is very important. EPA is by the way FTA plus free movement of people, uh, investment protection, uh, protection of property rights, etc. Uh, basically India Japan EPA was agreed in all accounts I just want to summarize what is the Japan-India uh, EPA Economic Partnership Agreement India-Japan FTA is all about. Uh, in 10 years after the uh, sign becomes, uh, the agreement uh, becomes effective, 94% of the all commodities traded between Japan and India, the uh, import tariff will be removed in 10 years. Japan will be benefiting mostly the exporting uh, automobile related goods, machinery and components from Japan to India. Uh, India is benefiting uh, to export generic uh, to uh, Japan. Uh, the complicated procedure to review Indian export of generic medicine uh, will be simplified.